Hi, I've got this one to talk to you about today and it's Scary Monsters by Michelle de Coetzer and it won the Rathbones Folio Prize this year and that's the cover, that's Lily's story, then flip it and you've got Lyle's story. It's almost two stories in one. You get halfway through, then you flip it and read the other bit. And it doesn't really matter which order you read them in. I started with Lily's story. And it's set um, 1980s. And Lily is an Asian immigrant um, who went to Australia. She's an Australian, sorry, an Asian immigrant in Australia. And she is now teaching in France. And her story is full of scary monsters. The David Bowie scary monsters. And it's a scary monsters of racial prejudice. Um, she feels... You know, she's the, the brown girl um, and she feels that sometimes her friends treat her differently because she is the brown girl. She's also very, very frightened of her neighbour because she seems to attract his unwanted attention and she feels that one day he will kill her. Um, Lily's story was okay, but I preferred Lyle's. And we are, in Lyle's story, we are in a, a near dystopian future. We're, we're in a dystopian future that's not too far away. It seems frighteningly close. And Lyle, his scary monsters, again, racism, and this time ageism. He's an immigrant in Australia, and Australia at this time has banned Islam. And the government is controlling the population by hanging the sword of deportation over them. Um, say a ro ro one wrong thing, do one wrong thing. And because their grandparents were immigrants, the whole family could be deported. It, it's, that, that is how they are controlling the population. Um, Lyle and his wife are working very, very hard to assimilate. Um, his wife wants to push the glass ceiling almost. She wants to succeed and get higher and higher and higher. Whereas Lyle wants to remain invisible and indispensable. He, you know, he wants to be below the radar. He doesn't want to be noticed for him, but he wants his job to be indispensable, his worth to be indispensable. The scary part for me in this is the way that an amendment was brought in. And it was an amendment that made it a lot easier for an aged population to be disposed of, in other words. They could have a joyous occasion. Um, red tape, um, everything was taken away and it needed one signature for an aged person to have a joyous occasion. They could have a big party, say goodbye to all their relatives, then go off to another room and have an injection. That, it's that simple. And that was a scary part. It really, really was. Because it was um, talked about sort of the how beneficial it was that this amendment was in place. Because 
it was excellent for the economy because all these inheritances from these aged population was coming into the younger generation and they had this disposable income that they could, could spend and the economy was improving because of all of these joyous occasions and that was really, really chilling. Absolutely. Um, Lyle's story grabbed me. Lily's story was interesting. I, I, I followed Lily, but Lyle's story, oh, it, it gave me shivers. So, Scary Monsters, two books in one. And uh, if you like a bit of dystopian, especially for Lyle's story, pick it up. So happy reading. Take care.